Okay guys, um, a lot of persons um, been asking me how to uh, basically to create a, a tutorial on how to open multiple activities um, from different buttons all right um, so basically this is my attempt to do that so all right first of all let's start up a new um, project so I'm going to call this one open all right and click next and click next leave those at the default and we're starting as usual from an empty activity so we click next as well and let's just leave this as main activity for now all right so this should build out I already have my emulator running in the background why because it takes a million years just to load up so might as well have it running in the background from the get-go all right so as usual we are greeted with our main activity java and we're at our set content view and all the good stuff so just drop down this folder that is res you should be in your android view by the way so drop down your res folder go into layouts activity main that would be a default you are greeted with our hello world this um, default text I'm deleting that as usual and I'm going to add a a large text so that we know that this is the main screen alright so you can do what you want to make it visible to you and I'm gonna say this is main screen our main activity whatever you want to call it but I'm just gonna call it main screen alright so we're gonna be adding some buttons here the easy way so just grab a button pull it over there and we're going to be doing another button um, as well and throw it over there and let's call this um, button one so we're just gonna change this to B U T T O N one and the ID for this one we're just gonna call it bot one. Alright. And it says to update, yep, update it. And the next one we're calling this button two. So we're going to call this B U T T O N two button two. And the ID for this is gonna be you guessed it, bot two. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now it's time to create our activities that we're going to be going to. So click on your project right here with the, the one that says APP, which is app. And you right click and go to new and then we're just going to scroll down until we see activity. And once again, we're going to choose empty activity. Alright, so for this next activity, we're going to call this second. Okay, and we click finish all right so we're now in second active second activity java our second java it has our uncreate method already created so basically that's that so let's go over again into our res folder and we see activity second once again we are going to add a text that we know that we're on the second one and we're going to call this all right um second screen okay so that's the second screen okay and all right we're going to be creating a next activity because remember we're doing multiple activities and if you want to create a button in this activity that leads to another screen it, the, the principle is still the same you are going to just go over to um, the, your your app folder and then click on um, activity and just choose an empty activity somewhere around here okay all right my mouse is giving a little issue okay empty activity all right and we're gonna call this activity third activity H I R D and you don't have to put activity I'm just calling my third and we just click finish which brings us to actually um, 
third activity that Java we're not going to put anything in there because I want to just keep it simple so we're just going to go back to the the res layout folder and we're going to change we're going to click on activity third and we're going to change the inside so we know that we're on our third screen so let's just draw a, a, a large text over here and we're going to say um, call this third screen okay I think that's spelled correctly <laughs> so third screen all right now let's wire up this thing now let's give it some functionality so for functionality now we're going back to our main activity right here and let's just add and reference this button so first thing we're gonna do is reference the button so okay we can reference them outside our uncreate method or we can reference them inside our uncreate method but to make life is easier for everybody we're referencing them inside our uncreate method so we're going to say button and uh, let's give our button one a name so i'm going to call it but with two t's one equal and we're going to cast so open braces button U T T O N oh that's capital B by the way. So it's capital B B U T T O N there it go. comes up find by ID and R dot ID dot but one. Alright, so it's reference. And you can go ahead and reference the second button button and we're gonna call it B U T T two. You can call it anything you want actually but that makes life easier for us and we type in button and find view by id and r dot id dot but two okay alrighty now we need to make some unclick activities so that when we click our buttons they actually do something so let's start with but one butt one and dot set on click listener and then we say new on click listener and we just choose this top one that writes all the code for us because we're lazy like that all right so inside this now we're going to put an intent an intent is important because the intent tells the android um system what we are intending to do well basically doesn't surprise it whatever <laughs> so you intent and give your intent a name so I'm going to call my int1 equals new and new capital I yeah new intent and our intent is to move from this screen to the next screen so we're gonna say we'll call our class name and our class name right now is main activity main activity comes right there and you put that this so they know that we're referring to this and then we put a comma and what the next screen is going to be our next java we want to know the next java code so that would be second second dot class alrighty and then we end that and to get this working we have to put start activity okay and then give start activity the name of the intent so that's int1 alright so basically when you press that button it should bring to, the, to that part alright we're not quite done yet so we're going to wire the next button if you're lazy you can just copy this code right here and just change some of the some of the, in, the ingredients in it but we're not going to be lazy we're going to write it out so we're going to say but two dot set on click listener and we're going to say new on click listener writes out our code for us then we're going to put in our intent what do we intend to do so our intent would start with a capital i intent and we're going to call this int int2 <laughs> equals new intent 
Yeah, because it's a new intent and we're going to tell them what we want to do. We want to move from main activity dot this to tell them that it's this class, comma, and we want to go to, let's say, the third class. So that is P-H-I-R-D dot class. There we go. And we're going to tell it to, whenever we press it, this button to start the activity, which is I int T2. So that's int 2. All right, guys. And we that should be it. Let's just see what goes on. All right. I'm going to bring up my emulator here. Everything works correctly takes a while to build out as usual even with our emulator already started sometimes I'm not sure why it takes this long to do it but all right okay it could be just my computer being slow wow taking a little while as usual all right this should be it loading up now it's installing the APK ah there we go so let's let's click on button one. Button one brings us to ah the second screen.